Hey everybody, welcome to Words of Wisdom, episode number 13, What Are You Looking At? Recently, I was listening to a podcast by Joe Polish, and Joe was talking about a time in his life when he had a business that was not doing well at all, and he wanted to change businesses. He wanted to be successful, so he wanted to find something new to do that would give him the success that he really wished to have. And so he was talking to a successful businessman and was asking him his opinion on what is it that he could do differently to become successful? What new business could he get into? And the businessman stopped for a second and, and said to him, let me ask you a question. Are there other people doing the same thing that you're doing that are successful? And Joe said, absolutely. There are some very successful people right here in this area. And the gentleman responded, so the problem is not with your business, with the job. The problem is with you. He said, you're suffering from the grass is greener problem. That you think by changing the circumstance that you're going to get a different result. He said, but you'll spend six months learning and building a new business only to fail once again because you haven't changed your poor business habits. Now that was kind of a slap in the face and kind of an eye opener. And Joe began to realize that when he looked at a problem, he shouldn't be trying to look out a window to see what was out there on the other side that could perhaps give him what he needed. He needed to look at himself. He needed to look in a mirror, not out a window. And when he looked in the mirror, he says, I see the problem. But he said, I also see the solution. So when we think about our lives, whether it's our business lives, our personal lives, anything, everything that we do, we have to accept the fact that we're responsible for it. We have to look in the mirror and we have to realize that we're the problem but we're also the solution. So you may say there's certain things that are outside of my control, coach. How can you say that? I can say that because there are things that are within your control and those are the things you have to choose to change. Change those actions, change those habits. The things that are outside of your control, you may not be able to change them, but you can change how you respond to them. You can change how you deal with them. So quit looking out the window, look at the mirror. Now, it doesn't mean that you don't get help from other people, that there aren't things outside of you, information that is out there that, that can help you. There, there's tons of information. There are tons of people that are willing to help you, but they can't make the change for you. People can mentor you, coach you, guide you. They can do all sorts of things for you. They can give you all the information in the world, but it's up to you to take it and do something with it. So before you consider making a change in search of happiness, take a moment to look in the mirror and consider, am I taking my existing baggage my existing bad habits, my existing lack of confidence? Am I taking these things into this new endeavor? Because if you are, you're going to get the same results. The only way to get a different result, whether you stay where you are or make the change, because sometimes making a change is a great thing. You need to get that new environment, maybe give you a little bit of enthusiasm, a little bit of an adrenaline rush. But ultimately, change is not going to stick until it starts from in here, how you feel, how you think, how you act. So when you look at your problems, are you looking out the window? Are you looking at a wall or are you looking into the mirror? And if you're looking in the mirror, make sure you see both sides. Yes, you are the author of your life. Everything that has happened up to you, happened to you up to this time is a result of the choices you've made or the responses that you've had to those situations. And we can't change those past chapters, but you can start 
a new chapter today. Every day you have the ability to change your actions, change your responses, change your attitude, and that's going to change your life. Okay, so this is Coach Jose saying, remember, always, always, always be your best.